At the end of the summer of 2022 in July, I had the privilege to visit La Escuela El Sembrador in Honduras. I'd like to thank the many people who made this trip possible and a success. Our team leader's wife, our team leader, our team, uh, the, the church and the donors, the, the missionaries, the faculty and staff of the school, all those involved. And not least of those, God who allowed this to happen, who brought the team together and allowed us to be able to share this time and allowed me to be able to visit the school and to be a part of the education down there. Uh, the school started out as a school for underprivileged boys. It's expanded since that. It's also a farm. The farm does two things. It su helps support the school and it helps them teach uh, the students life skills that they will need. Our team went to serve. Uh, we did work on the main entrance, uh, taking out a piece of sidewalk and installing a speed bump. Uh, we worked on a temporary school walkway. Uh, a couple of our guys welded something together that was going to be installed in the uh, new computer room in one of the uh, school buildings. We sanded uh, a concrete soccer court, prepping it for painting. Uh, we had other people do other projects. Some got to go into one or two of the villages and look at an education ministry program that was going on there. And we also got to interact with students who were learning English so that they could interact with native English speakers. Also, they had a need for substitute teachers while we were there. They had a teacher that was out because their child had been sick for a while. There were three teachers on our team. I was one of them. So I actually got to go in and substitute a fifth grade science class for a period. That is within my licensing. I have a license to teach four through nine science in my state. I am also within my state license to teach grades 4 through 12 in mathematics, as well as being able to teach undergraduate mathematics courses at universities. One of the things besides teaching the fifth grade class was that I got to observe their middle and high school prepare for their mathematics uh, Olympic contest that they're involved in. It's uh, countrywide, and I'm not sure if they participate internationally or not. I didn't really hear that. They certainly participate countrywide, and this one school represents 75% of their state, which they call departments in their country, and their state is the largest state in the country. So this one school represents 75% of their state in the competition, so that's pretty impressive. They have a trophy that their fourth grade team won in a previous year that sits in their administration building. I also got to observe uh, their high school math class being taught at one of the periods. I didn't have time to do a whole lot more than that with some of the other things that I had to be involved in. And... That was great to be able to see that class be taught. It was taught in Spanish. I speak a little bit of Spanish. I was able to get along well with that. I enjoyed watching the teacher there teach. He teaches similarly to the way that I teach, I believe. or I felt that as I watched him teach. So that was nice. It was, it was reassuring to me. You know, it, it helps us to have connections with others. Near the end of the week that I stayed there, I got to talk to the director of the school, and he was discussing with me the Olympic um, contest and showed me um, some of the information that the students needed to know for the high school portion of the mathematics contest in trigonometry, and I got to learn about a notational difference in trigonometry that they had that I had not experienced before. I love to see those cultural things 
and mathematics. So I got to learn something new, and that's really exciting. Besides being at the school and helping there and being a part of the meetings and the things that uh, we were involved in, uh, we got to see them do their uh, baptism service for the church. The first Sunday we were there, there's a river that runs th uh, through the property, and that's where they did the baptism. So that was a special event for us to get to see. Uh, we got to be in a chapel service with the students one day, uh, so that was interesting to see uh, that for us, to get to see a different culture uh, in their worship service. We went out and ate at a restaurant in one of the towns and visited a shop that had a restaurant and some other items we could purchase. And we also went to the mall, so we got to see some local things. It was interesting in the one restaurant, it was a really nice restaurant that we went into. Right inside the door, they had a Frieden calculator setting on a table there, I suppose as a display. They weren't using it. Uh, so that was kind of interesting to have a, a calculator like that at the restaurant. And we also visited... Uh, one of their national parks that has some caves and it's of some anthropological value because uh, there was a burial portion uh, high up in the cave from one of the local native groups that had been discovered. Uh, well, we were not allowed in that region. It's blocked off. Only certain people can go in that for the reason that it is a burial place. Uh, now I am back in the United States. I've put on my math shoes and I am back to teaching. I've been energized and it's been a rewarding experience. Again, thank you to all that made this trip possible. Thanks be to God for allowing this trip to happen, the, the friendships to be built, the professional connections to be built. It's just a really great opportunity. We had a really great time. We got things accomplished and I was able to connect uh, with others involving mathematics and faith and other things. Stay well, trust God, and cheerful calculating.